Mrs. Scrapman FaceTimed me from the supermarket the other day. She'd shot in there to get a couple of bits we missed on the main shop, and uh, she showed me the aisles where uh, all the cars he rolled gone. People panicked buying toilet paper again. It confuses me, it really. I think this is the wrong location for this chat. Hang on a minute. That's more like it. I'm a big fan of apocalyptic cinema and at no point do I remember anyone talking over the sound of a toilet running. Wait a minute. I'm a big fan of apocalyptic cinema and at no point do I ever remember anyone um, that the zombies are coming. What are we going to clean our asses with? It's a crisis. That's an episode of The Walking Dead that you never ever saw. The geezer who drives the Winnie Bago and the funny app rushes up to Rick with a panicked look on his face and Rick says, Sup, G? Rick, we've run out of supplies. And Rick says, what is it, the food? We've still got the food supplies. No, we've got food. Have we still got clean drinking water? Yeah, we've got water. What about the shelter? Is the shelter all right? We've got a dry place to sleep. And Rick says, well, what the fuck is it then? But Rick, what the fuck are we going to do? I don't get it. So. Like, we want to fight for the right to arbitrarily wipe poop around certain parts of our bodies. Not for me. I don't know why it'd be the first thing you think about in a pandemic. Yeah, food, shelter, water. Uh, I'm going to lose my livelihood. And, yeah, with losing your livelihood comes losing your home. But the first thing in people's minds is I might have a dirty ass. And God forbid there's just some, some boundaries we will not cross. No to the dirty ass. If the reports were... The supermarkets are run out of canned meat and vegetables and then onto the toilet roll. I could understand that a little bit. If only there was some way you could clean your ass without the use of toilet paper. I'm going to tell you something that I've never told anyone before unless you're friends with me on Facebook or you'll follow me in person, at which point I tell people every five minutes. I wash my ass. Every time I pay one out, shower. Every time. Except no substitute. My name's Salmon, and I'm an arse washer. My arse is immaculate. You could eat your dinner off it. That's not an invitation. I made that invitation once before, I got in a lot of trouble. Don't like to talk about it. I wash my arse three times on the way here. I think if you had poop on almost any other part of your body, you wouldn't feel comfortable just wiping it off with paper. If you had a bit of shit in your arm, you'd just be like, I'll smear it off with a Kazi roll. Dunzo. I'm going out now. It's not going to happen, is it? Maybe everyone's got their own boundaries, right? Of, of where you need to wash poop from and where you're happy to smear it with paper. Where would you start? I think we can all agree, the forehead. If you've got shit in your forehead, you're probably going to want to wash that off. Maybe that's just me. Poop on your feet. When your feet's an interesting one because it's the furthest part of your body away from the rest of your body. Although, still. I mean, I've had the misfortune to, to stand in dog poop barefoot more than once in my life and, you know, I definitely felt the need to wash it off straight away. Poop on your back. You can't see it, but you know it's there. I can think of one scenario where I'm not immediately rushing in to wash poop off myself. I'm cleaning up the dog run. I'm, I've picked the poop up, I'm hosing it down, and I realise I've got a speck of poop on my leg that's splashed there from the hose. Under those circumstances, I might wipe it off and then, yeah, get in the shower later and not wash it off immediately. But I digress. If you're out there panic buying, stop being a prick. You're part of the problem. You're not helping anyone but yourself. Right. It's been a long day and I'm... Uh... Gonna get my head down for a bit. Get some shit light. <clears throat> Ta-ta. This is the usual amount we buy. Don't at me. Anywho, if you'd like to become an arse washer like me, go to our website, www.washyourass.